This question appeared in ZAT 2015. Nine of the 33 questions that appeared in the quantitative ability and data interpretation section appeared from the topic coordinate geometry. Actually, a pretty easy question testing the concepts of basics of parallelogram. Here is a question. Two diagonals of a parallelogram intersect at this point, right? This is the point at which the two diagonals intersect. The two adjacent points of a parallelogram are the given two points which are adjacent points of the parallelogram. The coordinates are 5.5 and 7, 5.5, 7.5, .5 and 13.5, 16. What we need to find out is the length of the diagonals, right? Let's quickly plot the data that's given to us. Diagonals of the parallelogram intersect at 17.5, 23.5. Let's call this point O. This is a parallelogram. This is a point O, and the coordinates of this point are 17.5 and 23.5. The diagonals of the adjacent points are 5.5, 7.5. Let's call this point as A. This is 5.5, 7.5. And point B, its coordinates are 13.5, 16. So these two are the adjacent points. Let's check out what we need to find out is we need to find out the lengths of these two diagonals. What are these two? Let's quickly plot these things once more, give names to them, and then look at the approach to solving this question. The key facts given is basically this, diagonals of the parallelogram bisect each other. That's something that we should know. If they bisect, what it means is they intersect at their midpoints. So diagonal 1 and diagonal 2, the point at which they are intersecting, the value will, they will cut each other into two equal halves. From two adjacent vertices, from A and B, these two vertices, we will actually be drawing not a single diagonal, we will actually be drawing two different diagonals. We can only draw diagonals to points which are diagonally opposite to each other. So the diagonal from A is going to be AC and the diagonal from B is going to be equal to BD. And this point O, because it's a midpoint, it's going to bisect this AC. So AO is going to be equal to OC. Similarly, OB is going to be equal to OD. OD and OB are going to be equal. It essentially means that if I can measure AO, twice that is going to give me the value of AC. So AC is going to be equal to 2 times of AO. Similarly, BD is going to be equal to 2 times of OB. Because I know the coordinates of A and O, I'll be able to find out AO. Similarly, I know the coordinates of O and B, so I'll be able to find out OB. So with these two, we'll be able to find out the value of AC and BD. So what we're going to do, we're going to compute OA, OB, double them to get the answer. The distance between the points O and A, the coordinates are given to us. Distance between any two points whose coordinates are x1, y1 and x2, y2 is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. This is something that we know. So let's plug in the data here. This is what we have. The length of OA is equal to 20. Because AC, one of the diagonals, is half of OA, AC is going to be twice this value, which is equal to 40. Similarly, let's compute the value of OB. Coordinates of O are 17.5 and 23.5, comma 23.5. Similarly, the coordinates of B are 13.5, comma 16. So the length of OB is going to be equal to 8.5. Again, using the same formula, which is x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square, all this in the under the root. Because we know OB, we can compute the value of BD. BD is equal to 17. So we know the values of the diagonals. One is 40, the other is 17. Choice D is the correct answer. If you're looking for XAT preparation assistance, the go-to place is xat.ascenteducation.com. Be it free questions in your mailbox if you sign up for our Yahoo groups or free videos with explanation for past year's ZAT papers by subscribing to our YouTube channels. Or if you're one of those who wants a classroom program, Join our classes at Chennai and Bangalore.